Hello friends, today I have all these paint brushes that I picked up at Dollar Store. And I thought I would do an ultra brush. I thought it would be fun to do one I haven't done one in a long time. Here's my one I done. Uh, I have made, like, it was about a year ago or so. And I altered this paintbrush and I put it on this door ha um, sign, door hanger. <clears throat> so, just to show you um, what I've done here. And so I kind of just altered it with some flowers, butterfly, I had some paper napkins on this one. I have artists at work for my door handle. <clears throat> And I thought it was cute. Um, this paper here, I just put it on on this paper here, and this is my homemade um, scrap papers, as you can see, punch outs and whatnot, layered. And that's what I did, and I cut that out into like a door sign to say "artist at work." And I thought it was cute. So it's been a while since I've done one, so I thought I saw the the set here for like three bucks. All of these paint brushes. So I'm like, well, let's do it again. I haven't done it in a while. We can do something different. So I done the paintbrush, and then I found something later on. <coughs> Excuse me. Anne Marie had done the challenge with the door um, hanger to make a door hanger, and so I just and I don't know. She made hers with wood or something like that or plastic, but I just decided to do it out of my. Um, layered paper and add the brush on there as a artist's door hanger type of thing. So um, you can put them on things like that. You can put them on hanger, um, I mean canvases, that kind of thing. So uh, it was just like, oh, I have something I could put on there. So that's what I did. But I want to show you my first one ever. And let's, I don't know, think of something to do with one of these. So I'm going to just it. <clears throat> and really don't know why my throat's not clear right now. I'm going to gesso this and uh, play. And get this started here. So I'm going to add some gesso to my pad. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. One of those days, I'll drink my... My coffee! Can you see my coffee? Drink my coffee here. Clear my throat. Mmm. Mmm. Nice and warm. That's what I needed. So, um, I believe, I don't know. I don't know if I put Jess on the last one. It's been so long. I think I made a video of it. Um, but, who knows? I think I might put, um, something on here like a bird. Maybe a bird. <coughs> Why? I don't know. <laughs> Just because. There's an animal theme going on in this August, so... Let's go animal. Let's go animal. So I'm going to put the... Gesso on. And I could have gessoed it ahead of time. I don't know. I could always just do this video and... Squirrels on there I got for Happy Mail and just thought I'd do that with the brown here. Might as well do both sides. I'm not gonna have that side planning to have that side showing, but we 
go. Got that going on there. That's archival ink, so it's permanent. I'm just gonna throw some go for a crackle look. And not really have just I wonder if how crackle they would look. We could play with it. Let's play. Instead of just making it shiny, let's do a little bit of a crackle look. It'll be on brown, brown on brown, but we'll see if we can get a little crackle effect. Do we think we want to do that? I do knew. And these things are tough to open. Oh, tough, 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 tough. Okay, so I have my crackle. I'm going to just throw that on there and see if I can get that. It's like you're supposed to put it on evenly and let it dry and then throw your paint on top. Maybe I can do a different tone of brown. I don't know. I got quite a bit on this time. I have used it before and not put this much, but I want to get see if I can get really nice big crackle like the wood. Oops finished or something so we'll leave that on there and search for my next color so the next color I should put on looking 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 I'm thinking this color this heirloom kind of creamy color. It might be too light, but we'll see. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to have to stop the video, upload this. It's only going to be a couple of minutes here, but because it's going to take so long to dry, um, i got to let it get tacky. Well, let's see if I can speed it up by drying with the heat tool. It did work before with my grates, but um, I didn't put it on so thick, so let's see. I stamped it, I know, but hey, whatever, it's going to get covered, but it's still very cute. Anyway, whatever. It's going to get covered, but that's okay. So let's see here. I need to mix my color here. And I'm just going to use my stick. This one's good. It seems that my black really separates on the chalk paints, but the rest of them are stay pretty creamy. But the black, there's a lot of liquid. It does separate, it seems like. So that's pretty good. Good, good, good. So let's put that over here and start using it. I got a little bit of paint on the side here. I'm going to use my lid because it seems to be all creamy. Let's see how this works. It's experiment. I'm just trying not to go over it too much. And then I'm gonna re-stamp it after I think. I like that the little stamped hey image that I had on there before. But um there we go. See I don't want to go over it too much. Now that looks good. I might have put too much in this area here, but hey, whatever. So I um, got this to look pretty decent. I love the crackle and of course uh, this looks pretty good. It actually looks like an old paintbrush so that's pretty cool. I'm working on some cardboard pieces because like I said I wanted to make it like a little birdhouse. So I did cut a little triangle piece to put kind of up in here and hopefully alter it into a birdhouse. We'll see how it looks. So what I want to do is kind of um, make the top of the birdhouse here. 
So, just going to go like that. Grab another piece and go this way here. I'm inking the edges. I don't know. It's just an experiment because I hadn't really planned on what I'm going to do. Except for, I'm kind of going, <laughs> got little sponges here. Going, you know, bit by bit here. So I want to make it like a little birdhouse. My paintbrush altered in two. So I'm just going to go like that. And there's going to be my roof. It's not quite straight, but I don't, I don't mind. I kind of want it to look imperfect. And there we go. That'll be the roof. And I think I might just use some sticks to add into here. Um, I know it's white, and it would have been nice if it was the natural yellow of most old paintbrushes, but I don't have that. I have quite a few of my old um, twigs here that I cut off of my tree I found somewhere. And I don't know how big I'm going to make them. Let's make them bigger because you can always make them smaller. I'm going to throw this in here. So it's going to get glued in here. But I don't want to glue it yet, I don't think. It's going to be cute. Oh, it is dry, so... I'm not sure if I want that. So I'm just going to throw some in here. I'm not sure if that one's too thick. I'm being picky now. Gosh darn it. Picky, picky, picky. I have a little bird in mind that I have to put in there. Maybe I'll just stick them in there. It kind of bargain me. I got him glued right there. What I like to do is split, split the hairs. So sliding it in there, I'm just gonna split the hairs. Kind of just like that. There we go. Throw the sticks on. And I'm not sure how thick I want them. If I want them thick, I'm just kind of winging it here. Ha! <laughs> Wing it. Get it. Yeah. I know. So... I am going to find a little hole to punch and put it kind of back there, but I'm liking the way it's looking right now. Put these twigs. So I'm going to find my little hole punch, which should be here, and a little black, which should be right here. See how that goes. Might be looking a little small. I could always put a bigger one on there. Let's see what sizes do I have. I have a really big one. But it's not a really big birdhouse. And I do, 
I'm going to stick the small twig, small twig, twig as, ah, 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 as my little stick here comes out for my bird, just like that. I think I like that. I'm just using Aileen's Tacky Glue and it should be good. Well, I don't know if I like that now. It was working okay. Kind of splitting my hairs over here. Don't know how I like that, but. I might actually not like that. It's okay, I'll just put something in. It's okay. Anyway. I think I'm going to do a couple of little boards. So I have these little things cut into like what they could be boards here. And I just might do a couple of these with the sticks to kind of frame the birdhouse. And then I think I have my little birdies somewhere here. I gotta find them. The ones I bought for the... Where did I buy them? Secondhand store there. A while back. That's cute. It's looking birdie housey. It would have been really nice if it was like the, the synthetic was yellowy, but it's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I'm actually going to cut this down. I don't like it on my beautiful painted piece. Yeah, he's looking like a little birdhouse. And I'm being very messy. Look at that, guys. I'm being super messy. Leaving the glue everywhere. So I'm just kind of now placing glue all over here. I'm kind of making it up as I go along. Let's put some sticks on there. And just like that. Just like that. I'm kind of making it up as I go along, of course. You guys know me. I don't know if I'm covering up too much of the brush. I'm actually not sure if I'm liking the this. I actually should have edged it. Or not. You know what? I don't like it. I do not like it. I do like it without. I don't need it like that starting to cover it up too much. I want it to look like an altered brush. But I don't want it to be like, wait, what is that? <laughs> that would be a problem. So. To me, that would be a problem. So I'm just putting some pieces here and there. Just 
soon as the glue dries, these things won't be moving as much anymore. There we go. I'm going to upload. I pulled up a bunch of stuff. So, I mean, I got lots of stuff. I'm not sure what I'm using. So this is what I got so far. And I decided to take my homemade alcohol brown and kind of spray it a bit. And it's not really sticking to the synthetic too much, but whatever sits on it. I'm not sure how much is going to sit in there. But I thought I'd do that. And i got to let air dry because the plastic melts, obviously. Um, so I'm going to do that. That's good. Now i got to think of what I want. I finally, I was searching everywhere for my birds. These are my last two. And I really like them. So I was like, where did I put them? Look at you. <laughs> see, it's, that's the thing. You put something away and you can't find it. So you got to have like a little um, place for your stuff. So I have lots of things here out. I have... Uh, a ribbon. I thought that would be cute. And if I made it, I could put the bird on there. I don't know. I thought that little bow would be cute. Um, I found a, a clothing tag. I think I got someone gave it to me, or I kept it from an outfit. Don't know. It's that one I'm not sure about. And I have found another tag someone made for me and gave me. So that one's really cute, and I thought that would be cute. It's a little big. I was, but, yeah, it's a little big. I don't know. I have smaller tags, too, but, of course, I have to find them. Moving everything was, um, a big chore, and, um... Not having everything where I'm used to is a big thing. Or I can go with something really crazy and go with a, a, what's it called? A fortune cookie. When I made um, a challenge to do paper fortune cookies, this is homemade paper, layered papers, um, circles there. I thought, well, that would kind of look, it could look interesting. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. What's a fortune cookie got to do with a birdhouse? Absolutely nothing. But, I mean, there's just, like, lots of things we can do here. Throw flowers. So... I don't know, that could be too big of a flower. Just kind of playing with it. I'm kind of thinking that this bow is really cute on there. This is a bow I made with um, burlap. And I have a roll of burlap ribbon. And I have um, tulle over top. I made that. Can you see? Okay. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to glue some of this on here. I think I'm just going to do that. I'm kind of un unsure still, so I'm going to grab my E6000, throw it on top of my glue like I usually do, my Mod Podge bottle, and it just peels off after it dries, so it's a good spot for it. I'm grab my toothpick. I'm just going to go like this, kind of get some of that on there. And just go like this on the top part of here. I'm just kind of winging it again. There we go. <laughs> because I just don't know what I want exactly. So I'm going to trim it exactly like that side. So I'm going to cut a bit off here. 
get it around the edge. Go. I like that. It's a little down on one side, up on one side, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. So I kind of like that. Yep. And I'm going to put the, this rick rack, I think it's called, around it a few times. Let's throw. Whoa! catching my house catching my house I'm going to throw some of this in the back like that and holy try to attach my rick rack I think it's called rick rack A few times around, I think. Oops, how did I do that? Wrong way, wrong way. <sighs> I just want to go over the. I kind of wanted to go over the. Mm, one less. Okay, I'm just going to tie it right here. I didn't want it. I wanted it three times around, but I guess I cut it too short. That's all good. There's a little bit of glue right there too on the rickrack from on the other side, which is good. I will just wipe that up. Good. And have that kind of hanging here. I'm not in the view. Kind of hanging there like that. I like that. I want to get the bow in here. Just like that. Now it's it's made. My decision's made. The bow is on there. And I was thinking about putting a couple little flowers up on top. I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe make a nice little trim right there. I got this trim from Josie. Very nice. I'm just going to kind of get a little bit on there. Crazy. It might not look like a paintbrush anymore. I don't know if I want it to not look like a paintbrush anymore. My bird's going to go right here. And I want to have little flowers. Maybe I'll have one big flower. This is a nice flower I got from... Um, the second hand store it was in a bag of goodies from like uh, Valley Village they have these little bags that they sell kids are being very loud and I like them so I thought that would be cute maybe one or no I'm going to do one flower like that one like this over here I have a smaller one but where did it go I'm going to 
going to cut a little piece of this green trim right here and put it back here. So this is my little roofed kind of thing and I have some green trim there to make it like that. I like that. And I don't know if I'll throw some more trim in here or not. Nope. And I want my bird right here. And I might end up throwing some beads in there too. I like beads. I'll actually use my glue from up here. Right there, isn't he cute? And then I might put one bird up here. Just like this, like she's having a little break or something. I'm going to take the little Made in China sticker off. Because <laughs> it's showing on that particular spot. Get more glue on there. Just like that. I'm going to get the ribbon to go up. And I do have the little hole right there, kind of, that I put my little punch on. But I was thinking of putting this in here. You think that's too much with a nice little, I don't know, gold or something? We can spruce it up and see what it looks like. This is a hot glue um, frame that I made with my molds. And I do have a video on that. And I just pushed it in with my silicone pad and they're really handy for little pieces like this so I like them I think I'll put a little dark piece up here but I'm gonna put a little maybe a little ribbon like this here I think so. So I'm going to get my scissors, my clamping scissors here. So this is just a fun play and just play with your your um, paintbrushes and alter them. This is quite the alteration. It's not even looking anything like uh, a paintbrush, but you could totally invent your own thing. It doesn't have to look like anything. It doesn't have to look like what you see on Pinterest or anything like that. I just thought, well, I want a birdhouse, so, but, you know, there you go. That's what I wanted. You do what you want, and that's the only way it's going to work. Now, do I want to have another pink flower, or is it two? Yeah, I think I do. I think I'm going to have one more pink flower. These things are handy, so you don't get burnt and so you don't get uh, as sticky in some situations. So just going to stick it like that. Can you guys see? Isn't that cute? This ribbon I got from um, a swap. I was tying down my pieces. So I keep them everything, everything like that. And I was tying down my little puzzle pieces that Minerva gave me. So I just kept those. And like I said, like a lot of this stuff, you know, you could just make it with, you know, swap pieces or whatever. It's awesome. So, if, um, I have bling. I can add bling to it and all that kind of stuff. I'm going to see what do I want to do next. I might add a few pearls. I don't know.